Fernando, there's, you know, the, the changing landscape of, of food and um, your changing of the perception of fast food. Can you talk about that a bit? Because that is an interesting motivator, I would imagine. There. It is. Uh, look, I mean, I, um, I come from a school of marketing. <laughs> David and I come from a school of marketing that believes in purpose, uh, and believes on doing uh, the right thing. You know what I mean? Like uh, that's like that's how I grew up uh, in marketing. And I still remember uh, the day I resigned uh, at Unilever, going to my best friend internally and telling her uh, in, we were in London. I told her, "Hey, I'm leaving." And she's like, "Oh my God! Like seriously, you've been here for 18 years. Where are you going?" And I said, "I'm going to Burger King." It was just Burger King back then. And then she paused and looked at me. It's like, "What the fuck are you going to do at Burger King?" I'm like seriously. Uh, like, why don't you go to Whole Foods? Why don't you go to a startup that's changing food and this and that? And I told her, well, th those guys don't need me. You know what I mean? Like, I, I want to go on a place that I can have a big impact uh, where I know people are committed to have a big impact. Um, uh, and, uh, and, and it was the best choice that I've made in my, in my career. You know, I met a very talented group of people uh, here in Miami, Daniel Schwartz, uh, who today is the co-chairman for 3G Capital, was the CEO. Uh, Jose Sil, who is the CEO, was one of the brand presidents. Like people who are very eager to uh, to, to build brands for the long run, uh, to build the most loved brands in the QSR um, space, um, and, and invest to deliver results on the short term, but also on the long run. Uh, so back then, like this is four, five, six years ago, uh, we started doing things like uh, removing artificial ingredients from our products, which is not easy to do. We created nutritional roadmaps, removing uh, reducing sodium, uh, sugar, fat, you know, like almost like a detox uh, of the products. And, uh, uh, and we started to do work on sustainability. We have a huge stream of work around uh, diversity and inclusion. Uh, we created a whole framework that we call Restaurant Brands for Good that has a, a, a food pillar, a planet pillar, and a people and communities pillar. Uh, and, and we are trying to be the change um, we want to see around us. You know what I mean? Like, and, and, I, and I still keep tabs with my friend, her name is Katrine. Uh, and, uh, and I always, every time we do something, like this, uh, this past week we launched, we rolled out in the US a Whopper with no artificial, no colors, flavors, or preserves from artificial sources. Also no MSG, no high fructose corn syrup. It's not easy to do that. Everything that you touch on the product, it changes taste, it increases cost, it makes more complicated for operations, it like decreases shelf life. It's a nightmare. If it were easy, everyone have would have done it already, uh, and that's why we need to go for places where we can make a, a big difference. <laughs>